Так. Ну, ну я шо? зашел. Окей, поехали, будем тогда слушать. Так, а где там слушать? А, вот, все. This is a listening test for the Ukrainian Independent External Evaluation. There are three tasks for the test. For each task of the test, there will be time for you to look through the questions and time for you to check your answers. At the start of each piece, you will hear this sound. You will have time at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the answer sheet. Remember, you must not speak during the test. And while you are listening, you can write your answers on the question paper of the testing notebook. Now, open your testing notebooks and look at task 1, questions 1 to 6. You will listen to six recordings. There are six questions in this task. For each question, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Now look at the three pictures for question one. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Wow, that's a nice watch. Where did you get it? I bought it on television. I was watching one of those home shopping programs and saw this watch. Why this one? I had been looking for a bracelet watch with a square face and three hands. It was the same watch I saw at the jewelry store for $40 more. Oh, really? Yes, they sent it in the mail and charged me extra but the watch still cost less money than if I had bought it in this store. Now listen again. Wow, that's a nice watch. Where did you get it? I bought it on television. I was watching one of those home shopping programs and saw this watch. Why this one? I had been looking for a bracelet watch with a square face and three hands. It was the same watch I saw at the jewelry store for $40 okay. more. Oh, really? Yes, they sent it in the... Now look at the three pictures for question two. How may I help you? I want to return this book. Is that all you need? I also want to take this magazine to read at home. You're not allowed to do that. Why not? It's just a policy of ours. So what can I borrow? Only books or videos. I want to take this magazine with me. You will have to read it in the library. Okay, I думаю это прям вообще как дня, да? A. Да, тут A вообще без вариантов. Okay, ну что, next? Next. Now look at the three pictures for question three. Good afternoon. My name is John and I'm your waiter. Can I help you? Can I have a menu, please? Here you are. Would you like to know today's specials? Certainly. Well, our today's starter is fish soup and today's main course is salmon and chips. All right. I'd like the salmon and chips. Would you like to have the starter soup? Actually, I would like to have something light to start with. Why don't you try our fresh green salad? It is very popular with our customers. Okay. Here is your food. Enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Ага. Ну тут тоже легко было. Си. Да, си. 
Да? Окей, давай так дальше. Now you have 10 seconds to look at question 4. The purpose of school is to equip us for success, but success is measured by more than just test results. A person's ambitions and creativity play a much more important part in personal achievement than just knowing facts. After taking a test, students often forget what they've learned. I have first-hand experience of this. The only reason high school students learn is often to pass. As soon as we step out of the classroom, we dump the information to create space for new knowledge. Even those who study hard just cannot store so much factual information in their heads. Mm -hmm. Personal features. Yeah, if you're not sure, I also have this answer for the Okay, so Now you have 10 seconds to look at question 5. There are people known for their style, but how do they dress their children? A top interior designer and two teenage daughters. How much say do you have over what your daughters wear? Tara has an allowance, so she can buy stuff without me, so I buy her the more expensive things such as boots and coats. They have less eccentric things than I do. They both like American apparel. It's the first shop I've been into as a mother that I didn't understand. I thought, what is all this? It's just grey sweatshirts. Do you let them wear makeup? Yes because I've never seen them wearing inappropriate amounts. The age where you feel a bit sensitive about that is about 12. But by the time they're 16, they can pretty much do what they want. Да, 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 да. Кстати, если я не ошибаюсь, то вот это задание я уже зафейлил, по-моему. Я здесь, по-моему, неправильно ответил на него. Точно не помню, что я ответил, но да, здесь, здесь, скорее всего, C. Окей, okay, next. Next. Now you have 10 seconds to look at question 6. I'm checking out in about half an hour. That won't be a problem, sir. The day in New York has hardly begun. I think I'll visit a few more tourist spots. Sir, are you going to take the luggage with you around the city? Oh, yes. I need some place to secure my bags. Is there luggage storage at the railway station? They definitely have. But, sir, we do have a storage space for your bags. It's only $5 an hour. That's the solution. Mm -hmm. Да, я думаю, это легкотня, кстати, тоже была. Или нет? Ну, не знаю, скорее за все B. Да, это B. И, кстати, вот здесь, если я, если я не ошибаюсь, здесь я уже ответил A, потому что вот э, тут, тут видишь, какое тут плохое качество звука, а там у нас на какие-то очень дешевые динамики у нас оно воспроизводилось, и там еще хуже было качество. И я, ну, я, я в принципе, понимал все очень даже неплохо, но вот... По-моему, я ответил A. Если я, я, насколько я помню, да, я все равно ответил A, хотя, хотя правильно ответ B. Окей, okay. 7 по 12, там уже один и тот же аудиофайл. Тут у нас вот true или false уже можно выбирать. Mm -hmm. Ну что, поехали. Now turn to task 2, questions 7 to 11. Look at the five statements for this task. You will listen to a story. 
Decide if each statement is true or false. For statements 7 to 11, choose T if the statement is true according to the text, and F if it is false. Now you will have 20 seconds to look at the questions for task 2. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. An au pair is a young adult who travels to a foreign country to live with a host family. Au pairing can involve any number of duties. The job is often very difficult. Try not to be unrealistic and never think that you are on holiday. You are abroad to work. Your main duties will be caring так, for children. Так, ну тут уже смотри, тут уже сразу most... на вот этот первый вопрос уже напрашивается ответ. Ну, сразу напрашивается false. Да, false. Так, потом дальше минута двадцать вторая секунда. Я, мы, я там остановился, ты можешь чуть раньше, не знаю. Now turn to... Ты потом мотай сразу на тот таймфон, на котором ты остановился на прошлом вопросе. Хорошо. Вот. Так. That you are on holiday. You are abroad to work. Your main duties will be caring for children. But most families will expect you not only to keep their children's rooms tidy, but also to do some light housework, like dusting, vacuuming, and washing the dishes. It would be natural to take yeah. care of the so... children's clothes. Я дошел туда до 47-й секунды первой минуты. Там, наверное, тоже уже. Ну, может быть, бы тоже. Ну, ну, хотя там, ну да, там говорится только про children's clothes. Но, ну, то есть, да, то есть про детскую одежду там говорится, да. Ну, что про детей, кажется, да. Так что тут, в принципе, больше false. Я, кстати, помню точно, что я здесь true нажал. Ну, не нажал, а на, на поставил. Там же я... Да, 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 да. Вот я точно помню. К сожалению. Окей. Продолжаем. Хотел бы забыть. Так. Найти продолжать. Ну, это так. Any hand washing. In addition, you will be expected to prepare the children's meals. You might even be told to cook for the adult members of the household sometimes. So be honest about how good you are at cooking. The amount of shopping you do depends on the family. Some will expect you just to pick up a few items at the local grocery store, while others will make you responsible. Yeah. Да. Про all payers, то, что они paid extra for cooking for all them. Они не платят за это. Да, это false. False. Да. да. Ну и вот дальше. All payers have a five-day working week. Давай теперь об этом узнаем. Факт да, да. или не так. Да. The choice of shopping you do depends on the family. Some will expect you just to pick up a few items at the local grocery store, while others will make you responsible for the whole food budget. Some families in Europe prefer foreign au pairs so that they can help the children with another language. It may be a case of giving a scheduled lesson once a day or simply chatting to them in your language or reading them stories. Au pairs must be given at least two free days a week. It is important so. that the free time uh -huh. should really no, be free. Two free days nah, a two. week. Nah, nah, actually, two is five work days. Two plus three is five. But it's still false. Yeah, it's still false. Ну, Два потому, свободных что... дня, это, в остальные, я так понимаю, рабочие дни. 
А, то есть 7 минус 25. Окей, там 2-3, если я не говорю, 2-3 working days, по-моему, было сказано. 2-3, нет, там 2-3. А, 2-3. А, раз там не 2, я имею в виду 2, предлог 2. Именно, именно как 2. А. 2 свободных дня. Все. Все. Понял. Я просто я помню, что я вот из-за этого, когда Назенуал вот это услышал, я услышал именно, я подумал, что two, three, то есть типа как два-три э, дня в неделю, да. Поэтому я тогда нажал false, и вот немножко у меня ниже оценка из-за этого была, да. Ну, тут два свободные. Так, окей. It is important that the free time should really be free, that the girl can meet her friends and go sightseeing or to concerts, cinemas, etc. Many au pairs leave families if they feel they are being overloaded with work, so it is in the interest of the family to work out the au pair schedule in the form of a written work plan in order to make okay. the best use of her time. И что у нас насчет последнего? Au pairs have the right to, to change their employers. To change their employers. Uh -huh. Не знаю, хай будет A. Ну, э, да, там, там было сказано, по-моему, что эти, что они имеют право менять своих э, работодателей, ну, employers, то есть как работодатели. Ну, там было сказано только, что они могут э, сами там менять себе график работы, что то такое. Если я не ошибаюсь. Так что тут скорее B все-таки. Я бы поставил здесь false. Ну, я A ставлю. Окей, okay, хорошо, пусть будет A. Так, теперь дальше. И теперь еще у нас пять таких вот заданий, и все, и с лысинами мы покончим. Так. For questions 12 to 16, choose the correct answer, A, B, or C. Now you have 45 seconds to look at the questions for task 3. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. It's easy to be jealous of Taylor Swift. She seems to have it all, and even more. Her four albums have earned her $125 million. But beneath her success lies a life far from perfection. Today, our guest in the studio is Samantha Clarks, whose book about Taylor Swift will help us get inside the mind of the young superstar. Hi, Samantha. It's a pleasure to see you here. Hi, David. Thanks for inviting me. You write in your book that Taylor had an awkward childhood. Why is that? Taylor grew up on a Christmas tree farm in Pennsylvania. As a child, her favorite hobby was to ride horses, and she was encouraged to participate in many horse shows. She loved country music, which nobody else did. At the age of 12, she was taught three chords by a computer repairman on a guitar. With those three simple chords, she wrote her first song. She was lonely at school. In fact, she felt rejected. No one ever invited her to their parties. Taylor wrote it all down in her first song, Lucky You. How did Taylor progress in music? Later, Taylor got a new interest, which would make her one of the recognizable people of her generation. She fancied musical theater, for which she went to Broadway, for vocal and acting lessons. 
She started performing country music at fairs, local music festivals, sporting events, and coffee houses. By then, Swift was sure that she would have her future in music. I know that Taylor's family moved to Nashville when she was 14. Did that change her life in music? Yes, definitely. In search of a break, she was taken by her mother to Nashville, Tennessee. In Nashville, she contacted many record labels for joining as a solo singer, but got rejected okay. by all of them. Okay. Uh, what Ну, то, что именно этот презентер uh, говорит про ее успех. То все равно хай будет си. Окей, хорошо. What does the speaker say about Taylor's childhood? About childhood. Да. Все. То Там про это говорилось. То есть си, да? Да, си. Окей. Четыре раз. How did she do her music skills? Да, це я не помню, надо переслухать. Окей. By all of them. She had to become the best at what started performing country music at fairs, local music festivals, sporting events, and coffee houses. By then, Swift was sure that she would have her future in music. I know that Taylor's family moved to Nashville when she was 14. Did that change her life in music? Yes, definitely. In search of a break, she was taken by her mother to Nashville, Tennessee. In Nashville, she contacted many record labels for joining as a solo singer but got rejected by all of them. She had to become the uh, best no, at what she was doing. Okay, okay. Uh, no, okay, no, okay, no, 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 Ну, я поставлю Б. Окей. Ой. Окей. Я тогда а тоже. Так, хорошо. Окей, давай. Next. B. Next. Now turn to task. She was taken by her mother to Nashville, Tennessee. In Nashville, she contacted many record labels for joining as a solo singer, but got rejected by all of them. She had to become the best at what she was doing in order to be selected at such a young age. By the age of 15, she was not only good at singing and the guitar, but had become a great songwriter. She was now hired as the youngest songwriter by ATV Tree Publishing House, to write songs for other singers. But yeah. in 2005, okay. she so... joined Big... Mm-hmm. Uh, no. No to Nashville, not C. Okay. 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 What is true about Taylor Swift? She wrote out a bag of his songs. She set up her own record company. She mixed various music styles. Do you see any правда? Частично. А може і пол. Ну, скоріше за все, а правильно. Yeah. Ей, кстати, по-моему, його я і вибрав на занаво. Если я правильно помню. Так, хорошо, все. Мы покончили с э, listening. Теперь у нас с тобой... Э, тут нужно несколько ответов выбрать уже. Смотри. Тут у нас просто такое объявление. Ну, тут не несколько ответов, тут один из ответов. Выбирается. Да, да, ну просто... Да, просто потом там уже... Да. 
Так, окей. Что у нас? Cross the finish line in 16 months with an MBA from California. California States, LA. The fully employed MBA program in downtown LA. A planner for fall 2020. Designed for busy working professional. Our 16 month hybrid program offers convenient Saturday classes in downtown LA combined with online instruction. Why California State LA? National recognized quality education. Convenient location designed for your busy schedule. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, что это у нас здесь из этого? Так. Maybe an educational course. H. Да, да. Да, я его, кстати, по-моему, я и выбрал. Окей. Окей, так. Дальше. Uh, holiday Ice Ring Pershing Square Presented by Bay Evine mm -hmm. Bay Tech Production Skate through the holidays Now open until January uh, 16, 2020 Окей, что это у нас такое? Что это у нас такие? Это maybe vacation activities. Да. Окей, next. Окей. Everything you need for summer's hottest movies. Uh, Hollywood toys. Customs. Uh -huh. uh, your entire purchase. Exclude sale items must present coupon expires to the top. Mm -hmm. Food. Mm. Shopping facility. Yeah. Dark. What's up there? Uh -huh. Mexican food, happy hours from our family to yours. Я думаю, это уже самое такое легкое тут. Family run restaurant? Yeah. Training manager needed. Oh, job vacancy. Uh -huh. Так, ну и it. вот теперь у нас тут текст. <laughs> так, which of the following states about Erden Eruk in paragraph one? Okay, then for R, надо прочитать, значит. Да-да-да. Uh, since Aaron Eric left California in a 70 meter long boat, uh, he has been raving across the Pacific Ocean, heading for Australia with only birds, fish and sharks for company. As if that isn't amazing enough, crossing the Pacific's first only a part of his journey. Is only part of his journey. Там, да? is там просто у них ошибка тут. Okay, is Eric has decided to go, ой, to go all the way, to go all the way around the world using only his own energy. Oh, and his plan includes climb, 
climbing the tallest peak on six continents along the way. A rook will row, bike, walk, and fly on the war without the help from any motors at all. Aha, Vita. Which of the following is stated about Elden Rock in paragraph 1? Okay, so, uh, his start his divorce journey in Australia. He's anxious about the preference of sharks. He's going, going to travel in a variety of ways. Variety. Variety. Yes, experience of monitoring. Mm -hmm. um, see? Da, verno. Okay. Pedit uh, Erden Rook decided to go on around the world journey. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Is, why would you why would he try to complete a difficult goal like this? He explained that he wants to inspire children to bring their dreams and reach their own goals. Uh, he wants to show kids that there might be two parts along the way. Two and parts, them two. Two. No. And sometimes uh, they might not even reach the final goal. But they can have, a, have great adventures and learn a lot along the way. Yeah, so... So, so D, he wanted to encourage kids to achieve their ambitions. No. Mm -hmm. Touch. My husband, Erden Aru, listened to his MP3, MP3 player. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Aruk has already faced some uh, disappointments and challenges. For example, because he has to row about 10 hours a day, he brought along an mp3 player to listen to music, audiobooks, no? yeah. and study Spanish to pass the time. Unfortunately, the nearly daily tropical rain for several months has forced him to keep his player poked away where it's safe and dry. Well, a pact. Pact. Okay, he's been almost running himself. He is afraid of damaging it in the wet climate. Climate, yeah. Climate. The mm -hmm. Karen uh, Eruk doesn't everything does, expect. No no problem. Does everything except? Does everything except? Uh, does everything except? Okay. And not only that, but wind and waves keep pushing him westward when he wants to go south towards south. South, toward the, the Solomon Islands. Unlike big ships with powerful engines, his robot and arm power are no match for the winds. Fortunately, Ariel has a dry little cabin to crawl into when the daily run is gone. Done. He can use his little palm computer to connect to the internet by way of a satellite phone. For fun, I do emails and phone calls, read and write in my journal a lot, he says. So... Uh, protein bars give him energy and he boils water to heat freeze dried beef. 
only one boomer still. A solar powered machine he removes salt from ocean water so he can drink it, but only when the sun shines. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not bothered by the hard work or even being blown the wrong direction. Eruk sees the world as a celebrity where there is much to learn. For example, when his trip takes him across land, he enjoys meeting people, especially children. Uh, he has already visited dozens of schools and shared his story. Okay. Ну и ще, да. Він все тут робить, крім того, що читає книжки. Да. Yeah. По время того, як ти ходиш, книжки що там ну, не, не до читання. Mm-hmm. Да, да, да. Так, ну і последнє, which one, which of the following is true about Elden Arook? Ой, не то. Так, which of the following is true? Так, he is to work at a school laboratory. He can get fresh water in fine weather. He has to do without the meat during the journey. He changed his plans because of the weather. Hmm. Maybe. Da, B. Uh-huh. Так, ну і далі. Далі що? Короче, ага. чіткі кепсики пішли вже. Astrocast London. Astrocast is located not far from Hyde Park, Kingston Palace and the Whitelist Shopping Center. We only permit guests between the ages of 18. 30 to stay at our hostel, so we're in ideal accommodation for young travelers. Everybody working at Astrocast is also young and lives here too. So they can give, your, uh, give you a hint about great places to see in London. We have dormitory rooms with four beds room and showers and toilets on each floor. Mm-hmm. Так, no. which of the hostels? Uh, has guest G, uh, D, D. Mm-hmm. So. Okay, next. Uh, Trail Joy Hostels, Chelsea. Okay. Uh, it's located in London between Pimlico and Chelsea. And facing the river Thames. Under Neff. Uh, under Neff. Uh, as lies a lively pub featuring bands from all over the city plain. If you don't feel like going far for a bit of food, we have a Thai restaurant where you can choose your tasty Asian and English dishes here on the premises. Our rooms are clean and comfortable. Our staff are hard working. So, 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 Окей. Ну, тільки тут про музику нічого не сказано. Хоча, 
such a feature in bands. Ah, no, the feature well, bands. Lively pop feature in band from uh, all over the city. Yeah, yeah, what? Okay, next. Next. Uh, oh, Fox had a lever Liverpool. Hux uh, is a luxury hostel situated right in the city center. Guests can choose from double rooms to dormitory rooms for groups of up to eight. We offer guests a free continental style breakfast. Guests also have the option to upgrade to full English, American and veggie breakfast. Wi-Fi is free. Oh, как прочитать? Throughout. Uh, throughout the building on your own fire wireless device. All guests must provide their ID on check-in. All booking for more than 16 people will not be accepted. Yeah. Тут, кстати, это очень легко. Uh, has a limit on a big group reservation. Yeah, yeah. Ага. Uh -huh. so, GHA. YHA, yeah. YHA, London Oxford Street. Mm -hmm. Okay, quiet, hide away from the buses of the ba be buses of be Basel. Basel of busiest street in the world. YHA Oxford Street allows you to relax and have this fabulous city at your fingertips. Uh, we offer uh, private Two bed, three bed, or four beds room, and finally prices for all of them. We operate the key card system throughout the hostel, so you can get in and out whenever you like. Uh, please note, due to our location, we are we're busy and vibrant hostel and wouldn't recommend families bring children under the age of 14 here. Yeah. Okay, it's a uh, E. Uh, yeah. Vombat City Hustle, London. Uh, we are located only a minute away from the Tower Bridge, the Tower of London, and the City Hall. Not only is the location awesome, and the building itself is breathtaking. Uh, formerly a Siemens hall. The six-story building has converted to an astonishing trails place. All our rules came with comfy wooden beds, private shower, toilet facilities, and lockers for your belongings. You'll get our self-made city map with all essential in information about the going-ons in town. Ага. Ага. Ну тут, тут, кстати говоря, тоже довольно легко. Но, по-моему, я ответил здесь неправильно, но сейчас я понимаю, что это очень легкий. B. B, верно. Да, это B. Так, Astor Hyde Park, Лондон. Uh, it's located in South Kennington. Interesting places in the area include the in the, area. in the area include the National History Museum, the Victoria and Albert Museum, and the Science Museum. 
you will enjoy modern living in a traditional recently restored English accommodation, the wonderful wooden staircase maintains the Victorian style char character 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 our city free guest rooms are decorated with modern designs and are comfort comfort comfortable comf comfortably comfortable spacious a stainless steel kitchen two lounges and a large dining area 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 are only for guest use okay ну тут кстати тоже довольно легко догадаться я думаю uh -huh. was were decorated not long ago да да ну и теперь уже Дальше, смотри, тут теперь нужно э, вставлять то, что лучше всего подходит. Mm -hmm. uh, how does your body move? Does the brain send it messages? And it return? In return? And in return? Mm. How do your eyes, ears and nose tell your brain what they see, hear and smell? Age. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, nerves are thin. Uh, Thread-like structures. My structures. Uh, which carry messages between your brain and the rest of your body. No kind. Okay. If. B. Так, nerves run down your spine and branch out all the way to your fingers and toes. 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 Uh, the system of nerves controls your body tells your muscles to move and mm. and uh, let's see your and let's you experience the wonderful world around you yeah see the nerves are a part of your nervous system uh, part of your nervous system, which also includes your brain and spinal cord. Mm -hmm. D. Yeah. Uh, your nerves are made of cells called neurons. Neurons, yeah. Neurons and, and receive messages between your brain and the other parts of your body. Mm -hmm. By sending alternation electrical and chemical like signals. Yeah. And the last one? Uh, and the last one. Talk, talk. The messages flash from neuron to neutron along your nerves and inside your brain uh, signals from your eyes mm. might tell the brain there is my school bus ну что ж так теперь дальше самое такое интересное Просто нужно вставлять одно из правильных слов. Это то, что мы с тобой делали. Помнишь, вот в той книжке очень много этого, этого делали. Это самое легкое. Так, окей. Окей, так. Salad, despite the Mediterranean nature of 
it's uh, ingredients now uh, had nothing to do with any Roman pair named Julius. It is widely reported that uh, the uh, dish mm -hmm. uh, was first cooked in the 1980s. Look in the 80s or 20s? 20s, stuff. By the American rest, restor, restauranter Caesar Caesar Cardini. Mm -hmm. Caesar Sardini. Cardini, скорее всего, да, это там на К. Also, this is uh, mm, Question it questioned by some of Cardini's family and others. How can I? The Cardini's brother Alex said that it was he and uh, ex pilot of pilot ex pilot of World War One. Uh, who who invented the salad and called it aviator salad mm -hmm. and then the Caesar salad name was taken from Caesars which was the name of the restaurant it was first it was first served in. Okay. Okay, next. Uh, Egg and spoon race. Название топовое. Согласен. Originated at the end of the 19th century in the United Kingdom, the adjective Objective. Objective of the race is very simple uh, to carry an egg on the spoon and across the finish line as fast as you as you, you can it be more no, as possible. Yeah, as fast as possible. Yeah. As fast as possible. Uh, each competitor is uh, provided with a spoon uh -huh. and an egg. At the starting line, all competitors line up with the eggs positioned uh, on the spoon. When the start signal is set off, competitors run at full speed. Holding the spoon with just uh, one hand, holding the spoon with two hands, or touching the egg, or touching the egg with hands is not isn't allowed. Uh, if a competitor drops it, they have to die. <laughs> They have to pick up the head and the egg, mm -hmm. put it back on to the spoon and balance it before they can resume running. Uh, Romans the eggs are used for races. They have also been uh, they have also been replaced. Da, replaced, you know? In some instances with potatoes, tomatoes, lemons or synthetic egg. Да, специально, чтобы они не разбивались. Окей, ну и последнее. Или нет, там еще два таких маленьких текста и все. 
там два таких текста, у нас уже времени нема. Ну окей, давай вот еще вот где-то минут пять на это потратим и закончим. Окей, okay, Андрея Боселли. Планет Эд Твентин, Боселли Кэн Си. Any work of art, expected mm-hmm. memory, but perhaps it is this memory of community that has been him succeed. Becoming one of one of the most famous turners uh-huh. in the world and selling over one hundred fifty million records. Правильно, да. Кстати, вот я помню, что за него именно этот ответ выбрал, но огромное количество людей его зафейлили почему-то. Ты молодец, правильно. Сэнэн uh, Дион, with whom he was. Сэн. Вот это Эй. Санни Дайт. Дюэт. Дюэт. Сэд, дэд. Иф гад хэр э санни вуэс. Синни вуэс. Синни вуэс. Хи. Хи вуд саунд лайк Андрея Басили. Я. Окей. Ну и последнее. Все. Это уже последнее. Последнее. Окей. Дукс драйвен карс. Uh, for the past two months, animal trainer Mark, Mark Wett, uh, has been teaching free dogs to drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, the lessons are part of a campaign by the Society for the, Society. Society for the Prevention of Pure Cruelty to animals. Mint. Uh, uh, to clear up stereotypes about rask dogs. Da. Da. Sometimes people think because they are getting on, uh, getting an animal that um, that has been abandoned. Abandoned, yeah. Abandoned, yeah. Uh, that somehow it's a second-class animal uh, driving a car actively demonstrates to potential dog adopters uh, that you, uh, that you. Mm, can teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah. Uh, the well free rest dogs have Rescue. taken to dra- training really proves that intelligent creatures adopt to the situation they are in. Yeah, like this. Так, ну и письмо здесь, к сожалению, самое такое отвратительное, которое только можно было придумать, это о театре. О том, типа, вот надо было написать другу вот про о том, когда ты последний раз был в театре и на какой спектакль ты ходил. Но прикол был в том, что я вообще никогда в жизни не, не, не был в театре, и мне пришлось придумывать историю. Но в целом... Да. В целом у нас с тобой... Смотри-ка, у нас тут с тобой... А, что, 71, правильно, 72? У тебя тоже? Да. Ну что ж, слушай, у нас очень даже круто получилось. Так-то. Ура. Ура, так-то да. Ну что ж, мы с тобой на все ответили правильно. И мы с тобой потратили всего 55 минут. Хотя там дается три, это, два с половиной часа. Там дается. У тебя будет два с половиной часа, чтобы все это сделать. То, что два с половиной часа дается, я знаю. Угу. В общем, как-то так, смотри. А теперь мы уже с первого раза на это на все ответили правильно, так что тут я тебя готов поздравить. Ты очень хорошо сейчас ä, проработал. Да, я знаю, что на реальном ЗНО, возможно, у тебя будет там балл чуть ниже, потому что все-таки, ты понимаешь, ЗНО ну, это... Да. да, потому что 
как бы ты сильно не хотел, но во мнении все-таки у тебя какое-никакое будет. Я, я правда не понимаю, с чем оно связано. Даже если ты полностью уверен, что ты все сдашь, то ну, все равно ты можешь потом просто по невнимательности неправильно что-то ответить. Так что как-то так. Смотри, я тебя очень, я тебя поздравляю. И, в общем, у тебя заново столько через год будет, но ты уже к нему готов. Я к нему был, я к нему был готов только уже где-то в июне, честно скажу. Но у меня было 7 июля, и я только уже ближе к концу июня к нему полностью подготовился. То есть за буквально там за неделю где-то до, до, до его начала. Так что ты молодец, я тебя очень сильно поздравляю. И я могу вот что сказать сто процентов. You are my best student. Uh-huh. Так, да. так что смотри, как мы дальше поступим. Тут уже решать тебе и твоим родителям. Сейчас я, я это же не закрыл. Фух, я это не закрыл. Это надо будет заскриншотить сейчас. Вот то, что мы сейчас сделали. Что ж, хорошо. Все. В общем, я, я честно не знаю, как, как мы будем дальше. Потому что э, к ЗНО я тебя уже фактически полностью подготовил. Смотри, мы можем дальше уже заниматься по такой вот очень крутой программе. Мы можем с тобой уже там что-то, смо- допустим, э, смотреть на английском, что-то в оригинале, какие-нибудь фильмы, сериалы, потом переводить их. Как тебе такая идея? Или что-нибудь еще такое придумать, что-нибудь такое крутое? Ну, да. надо будет что-то придумать. Да, надо будет нам стоит что-то крутое такое придумать, чтобы дальше развиваться. Потому что, например, там слушать какие-нибудь песни на английском и ну, не переводить их, а хотя бы там просто вписывать э, там куда-нибудь э, их тексты. Я помню, была такая, был такой сайт, я тебе потом его даже скину, если хочешь. Окей, хорошо, все, я не буду тебя задерживать. Мы и так уже где-то на плюс-минус 10 минут дольше э, уже занимаемся. Но Окей, мне, мне дополнительные деньги не нужны. Платите 100 гривен, как обычно. Хорошо. Все, я, я, если ты не против, я это скину э, твоим родителям. Пусть хоть, э, пусть порадуются. Хорошо. Все, тогда на сегодня заканчиваем. В общем, uh, have, have a great day. You too. Thanks. And uh, I guess uh, I'll see you next Sunday. I'm just too. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye.